the way you fill a bowl with granola. Have letter number 5988. April 17, 2017. You may wonder what I, God in heaven, may look like. Physical appearance means a lot to you. When I see you, I'm not looking at your physical body. I am looking at you, as you truly are, not as you appear encased in a body. I see the bright golden light of your soul. I see your goldenness swirling around. You are truly golden light. Our light matches. We line up. I bequeath my golden light upon you. Of course, I extend my light to you, who are not you at all, but are rather one with me. Yes, we are burnished golden light. We are light burning brightly. We are effervescent light, and our light never goes out. There is enough light for all in my kingdom. No one is outside my kingdom. It's not that you borrow my light. Our light is interchangeable. Our light is infinite. This is the bold truth. If we are oneness, which we are, then we are also light that is one and the same. Yes, you, anyone you know well or don't know at all, you are all the fruit from the same tree. When we get down to it, I made you not as an image of myself carved in stone, yet as I, myself, truly light from the same golden tree. When you see yourself as flesh and bone, when you see your pores, when you see your makeup smudges, when you feel tired and cross, when you note your imperfection, all that which occupies you is no more than your fine-tuning illusion. What can be drawn as a picture of you is not the real you. It is an identifiable you whereas the truth of our oneness cannot be sketched, is not external, is not at all separate from you or anyone on earth. In the world, you come to love the unique differences. You love. You love someone's eyes. You love someone's dimples. You love the physical. You see the dear physical body, and you love your loved one's hands. Nonetheless, you also see the subtle. If you do not see, you feel. You sense. You are also somewhat aware of that which is greater than the physical. You have feasted on the physical with your eyes and attached yourself to a physical appearance. Beneath the physical fervor, what really has happened is that your souls have touched. Souls live forever, never die, always are renewed, and always are sending out new tendrils of love. Souls are not inert. Souls function deeply. Souls are often known as equal to hearts. Hearts are well known to you the same way as everyone likes their hearts and the hearts of others to be wide open. How grateful you are when your heart is radiantly and selflessly open. Everyone has a heart. Hearts are good things to have. Hearts are like a welcoming committee on earth. Keep your hearts viable. If your hearts were candles, you would never let their light sputter out. Keep your light lighted. Refresh your heart often. Let your heart spill itself out rambunctiously the way you fill a bowl with granola. Nourish your heart with love. Keep giving love out. Pour love out. This is what love is for, to sprinkle the world with, to cool it down, to smooth out the misplaced pangs on earth. Your love unites the world and love together as one. I know you know you did not come to earth in order to be stingy with your love. You are to be generous with your embodiment of love. You do not balance accounts before you give out love. You simply give out love the same way that the sun shines equally on all regardless of perfection or imperfection. You are light on earth. You buoy so-called others love on earth with goodness and mercy for all. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org